Padres, they knock off the St. Louis Cardinals here, game one of this series. That was a fun game to watch. Randy Vasquez coming in, I wasn't totally sure how long we were going to get him for, but he was efficient. It was only that second inning where he had over 20 pitches in that inning. But again, like I said in my pregame thoughts, he's been able to get out of jams at times this year, and that's what he did at points in this start. The St. Louis Cardinals team is not the best offense that he's faced the entire season, but there's some quality hitters in there. And he was coming back, coming back from AAA, so I just didn't totally know what to expect. But I'm going to take that Randy Vasquez outing every day of the week. No doubt about that. And I wonder where this goes there with uh, with Vasquez. Is he going to make another start? Because I, I think a lot of this is dependent on the progress of you, Darvish. Because he's throwing the live BP. He threw that yesterday. So we'll see how he progresses what his timeline's going to look like. Maybe Vasquez gets a couple more starts in, or a start, and then Darvish comes back. But this is one of those games where you're going to look back and be like, yeah, the Padres, they were successful this season. They made it to the postseason this season. And it wasn't just because of 26 guys. 26 guys does not get you to the postseason. It doesn't get you through a season. And these wins like this, where you have someone who may not finish the season on the 26-man roster, but he really helped you win this baseball game it's it's why it's such a, a great team sport so great job out of, uh, of Randy it was interesting that Scott and Suarez pitched in this game considering it wasn't a safe situation but Mike has done this he has done this numerous times this season where it's not a safe situation but you're trying to win this game and when you think about it this is the second four game series in a row for the Padres you, you want to split especially when you're on the road I know Bush Stadium, I'll get to this, it was not packed at all, but you still will take a split, two out of four, you want to win three out of four, but either way, like, you go get that first win. If you have an opportunity to go get that win, you get it. So if that means Suarez, Scott aren't available tomorrow, that's just what it means, you go get that win. And the Padres wanted to seal that victory, and so I, I don't blame Mike Schultz for doing that, and I was fine with it. Um... And so they're probably not going to go tomorrow, but the Padres, they still have other guys. This is where the depth, the strong depth of the bullpen comes into play because you have Jason Adam. You have other guys that can come in. You have Jeremiah Estrada that can pitch late in games. Yuki Matsui has done that in the past this season. Like there's other guys that can go do that and you can get a, a, a strong start from Dylan Cease, you know, going up against Miles Michaelis, I think tomorrow. So there's an opportunity there to win that game, even with those other guys in the bullpen not available. So I was fine with that. And, you know, this Bush Stadium crowd today, it was like a quarter full. It was shocking. I thought last year, wasn't their attendance better last year when they were way worse than this? And this year, there was like no one there. And I get, I, I guess that it was, it's really hot there in St. Louis, but... There's been games where it's hot at Petco and fans still pack it out. Uh, yeah, the Padres, they're a better team than the Cardinals. But uh, this gets me to Mike Schilt, him getting the win tonight as the manager of the Padres. In the other dugout, Ollie Marmol gets the loss. That had to be such a good feeling for Mike Schilt. And he can talk about how he's focused on the Padres. This is about, and he said this pregame just like I thought he was going to, pretty much making sure to say, like, no, it's another series that we're trying to go win. We're trying to go win a ball game today. And they did that. He can say that all he wants, but come on. At least for me, as a competitor, if I was in Mike Schultz's shoes, an organization after I brought them to, what, three consecutive postseason appearances, one of them being an NLCS, a big, long winning streak to get me into the postseason, to get our team into the postseason that year, and then I go in and think I'm going in for a contract extension maybe, and I get fired, and it didn't seem like there was that much of an explanation for that, uh, yeah, I'd be pissed off. And I'd have that chip on my shoulder coming in with the Padres. And this stadium is, there's like nobody there. And when I was the manager, it was packed. I was hoping, like my teams were packing that stadium. And the team now isn't. And my team, our fans pack the stadium at my stadium now. And in this stadium, there's nobody there. There's a lot of Padres fans, though. And we whoop you. I would love that if I was in Mike Schultz's shoes. I don't know if I'd say it publicly, 
but I feel like he's got to be feeling some sort of way about this series. He has to, right? We're all human beings. Um, and I think the Padres players, obviously they know, and I think they're motivated. Of course, they would just want to win games, but I think they're motivated to win for Mike Schilt. You saw Jackson Merrill after the walk-off homer the other day, yesterday, him picking up Schilt. They love the guy and how he always backs his guys. He's a player manager. So, I mean, I think that they're motivated to win for him as well, not just win these baseball games. Um, as for the offense, Manny had himself a day, just continues to show that he's better than Nolan. Um, the, the great play that he made at third, getting Nolan. And by the way, Nolan, he would have took like four or five steps. Nolan is a great talent, but I, I think Manny is better. Nolan would have made that play look difficult. Manny made that play look easy. Um, and, and that's a little bit of the difference between those two. Manny with a homer, and then he had another one down the line as well. And Jackson Merrill continues to have just great baseball at bats. He got fooled. It didn't look great on like one swing tonight, but two strikes on account, just it's not the prettiest swing. But as people said in the comments when I posted it, and I agree, like it was a pretty, it was a beautiful swing considering the circumstances. It's a beautiful two strike swing that he was able to get a single on and bring in, I think, a couple of runs. And his first RBI hit, just take it the other way, hard hit the other way, not trying to do too much. That's that's what, who Jackson Merrill is. All he cares about is winning. And to me, it doesn't... He'll say that all he cares about is winning and it's okay if they win by one, whatever, you win. And I agree with that. But I feel like he's also someone that is like, I don't just want to win. I want to smack you. You know, I get that feeling with him. And I love that about him, obviously. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Just, uh, it was a good baseball win for the Padres and they use the back end of the bullpen but hey what matters the most is you securing a win and you have an opportunity to do that and at minimum we want two out of four you already get one so now all you have to do at minimum for us to be okay I guess with this series right is to win one of the next three games I'm fine with that like you're in a good spot there so hopefully Mike Schilt's pretty happy tonight